Hello, I'm Yasmin, and today we're gonna make a video upon request by it's Toka Mimi. She asked about, I think, it's a she, she's a she, she's a girl, yeah, I don't know, but I think yes. <laughs> Um, so upon her request, she was asking for me to make a tutorial video about Infinite Panther Migrating to Infinite Panther as my main drawing app uh, I've been using a lot of drawing apps and this time we're going to talk about Infinite Panther First and foremost, before moving further, let's talk about the basic part this is the logo of Infinite Panda. You can install it directly from Google Play Store. I'm not sure if it's available for Apple devices. So, this app was a paid app. You have like a free trial where you can like use about three layers maximum. And that's all. So in order to have more layers, and use another features that available you will need to pay for it so yes it is a paid app so let me tell you is it worth it to pay for it yes definitely because the brush are amazing it have time lapse recorder and a lot more i would say it's an amazing app and i think you should try because before this I was using Huyun Sketch but there was some issue and I did Huyun Sketch and I'm back with Infinite Panther and I've made a lot of couples, a lot of drawings using Infinite Panther and I've been using it for about one month and today we're gonna learn about Infinite Panther so when you first open Infinite Panther this is what you will see you will see new and you will see import and you will see pattern this is the pattern for your um, brushes I think <gasps> I'm not sure and this is when you want to import images and this is when you want to create new canvas so if you see here there's like a arrow that you can slide up and it will open projects project is where all your finished drawing will be safe and this is basically the drawings that I've been making you can see there's a lot of drawings and some in unfinished drawing as well so yeah so I'm gonna show you how to create a canvas you can click on the new and here you can see you can like change either you want to higher performance or bigger canvas size and you can um, customize the size right here or you can just pick templates and you will see like the default template you have a4 postcard written film photography and basically i use instagram size but this is what i'm using 1175 which is one by one ratio for Instagram because I post my drawing on Instagram so and then after you are satisfied with the canvas size and everything you can click on create okay when you click on create this is the interface that you will see let's talk about the left side first the left side you have this like uh, the resizer this is actually um, when you click on it you will see like there's no button and everything it's like a full screen and then you click on this again you will see the all the buttons are here okay and you can see your layers so I'm gonna talk about the top bar first we have talked about this one the full screen mode and let's talk about the three dots basically three dots is an option you click on it and you will see where you can create a new canvas like from the previous interface and you can see you have open this is where you can open a file 
uh, open your previous projects like your finished project okay and then here you can see save this is when you want to save your project you can name it and just click all right okay and then you have import okay import is either you want to import a uh, image from your gallery of your device or you can um use an image as a reference let's go further with that you click on gallery or you can just uh take a picture so usually i will just pick on my gallery and then i will pick like any drawing that i want to use so you can pick you pick a picture and you can either choose import as layer or import as reference okay import as layer will be about your image that you pick before become a layer right here but if you pick let's say you pick again import and you pick the picture and you click on import as reference you will see it like this where you can resize it away this is reference like reference picture where you can hide it right here you can resize it make it bigger make it smaller and at this there will be like additional button here which is the reference where you can delete the reference or hide the reference and also one thing you should know is when you tap on the reference for a couple seconds it will change into a toggle for eyedropper so you can pick any color from your reference picture and make it as your color palette okay so done with the reference let's talk about the record okay so the record is time lapse you can disable and enable it just to keep in mind when it's record it is saved on infinite panda it is not saved on your gallery directly so if you want to save it to your gallery you will have to save it and import it to your gallery so here you can pick style time lapse and workflow is like this okay and then when you let's say you are still drawing and you want to see a video view playback you can just look here and it will play back the recording okay and then we have community to show your artwork or view artwork but i don't really use that and you have classroom this is where you learn how to use infinite panther and here we have setting okay and you have a team where you can pick this team or this team but i used to black one this is like a dark mode and you can change this the, the type of color wheel that you want i just used the regular one this one and then you can pick scale and you can hide your nav nav navigation bar i hide it and you can I enable rotate canvas I didn't really use this one show layer changes I didn't do that and you have double tap to fit screen or flip canvas I use the double tap as eraser so when I double tap let's say I double tap on here I double tap and it will become an undo button or you can just use the undo button right here and we have also the redo button right here let's get back to the setting we have double tape we have long press is so i use as eyedropper and i didn't really enable the draw cursor because as you know samsung s pen already have like the default cursor that little thingy and shape detection i didn't enable this one so when i enable the shape detection let's say this is a wiggly line when I just like hold it for a little while it become a straight line so yeah that's the shape detection so go back to the setting okay now we have got this global curve I don't really use this I didn't change anything this is a default and the volume key I didn't use this 
disable back i disable the back because i don't want to accidentally tap on the back when i was drawing and finger i also disable the finger this is because i have s pen this is the setting for stylus if you're using stylus no matter what stylus you have as long as it's a active stylus you can pick when when you this is like a palm rejection but so yeah when your finger won't do anything other than just clicking and everything it won't draw let's say i i enable it i pick normal so when i use my fingers it will draw but when i use my s pen it will draw okay let's say i disable my finger so when i draw with hands it won't show any ink but when i use my s pen it will show inks so and then long press okay we have to talk about that install this from button as you know samsung s pen does have button right here one button actually so i use this to make a stuggle eraser you can pick anything but i love using the eraser so i just can change from brush to eraser quickly so stylus pick button this is if you have two buttons but since i spent only have one button so i only customize this stylus from button as eraser so let's say right now you can see here i am on brush so when i click on my button I will change to eraser so I can just like draw without clicking right here and there easily so we are basically done with the setting now let's go to the export this is where you can name your your artwork you can pick the format you have PNG and everything you also have Photoshop right here Photoshop files the I uh, just use PNG and you either can pick either you want background or without background so without background means it's a transparent background so basically that's it so now let's talk about the layer this is layers this is layer when you click on it it will show the layer panel when you click again it will hide the layer panel okay layer panel you have like two modes this is the one the simplify one where you can add canvas and you and you tap on the layers it will show these high duplicates and everything and when you hold it you can move around the canvas to be the top or the bottom canvas but and then right here you can pick your paper color okay and then you also can pick your texture but i don't really use this so yeah so this is the simplify mode so let's say when you drag this and you will see the more um detail of the layer mode so you have the hide button right here and you have the merge button right here you have the duplicate button and you also have the clear button but you can still access this all these buttons even if you have the simplify mode i like to keep it on the simplify mode so it doesn't take so much space but you can use this if you want to but i prefer this one okay done with the layer mods so right here you have i'm just going to talk about the tools that i usually use so we're not gonna touch all these complicated tools because if you're a beginner you will get confused like me so we're just going to talk about the transform which is just like transforming the shape that you have right here you have free you have distort and warp and anchor <clears throat> i will make a part two of this video so yeah wait for the part two because there's so much thing to talk about so you can flip your canvas you can reset your canvas size you can lock it you can navigate it navigate this will 
will be really helpful if you like to zoom in like me so you can see your whole canvas right here without zooming out so you actually know what you're drawing and stuff so that's the navigate to disable it you just need to click on the navigator again there's so much tool so you should pay for this because it's an amazing app you should you should really give it a try please please so next let's go to the edit i'm just going to talk about the tools that i use so we have lots of tool you can make a selection on your drawing and you will see here transform there's just a lot of things a lot you can duplicate you can transform that's all you need to know so you can isolate so for transform it will just bring you back to the transform tool the same with the pin section right here and then the ones this is the magic one selection where it will select for you without you need to select it okay so we have filter you can crop your canvas you can resize the canvas you can add panel if you are doing comics this will be really helpful but unfortunately I don't do comics so yeah so we have your filters the one that I use grain filters you just make things grainy okay so that's all for these tools stay tuned for the next video for the for this site